All right, what's going on YouTube? Now back again with another video, and this is just gonna be a plain video of me explaining what a hernia is and kind of what I'm gonna do in procedure and how I'm gonna take these videos looking forward. But I'm also gonna talk about some foods. We're all about the health here. So I'm gonna actually put some chicken. I'm gonna weigh it, make sure I'm getting a couple ounces because this is post-workout after I just did a very light pinch workout. So I'm gonna about to measure Make sure I'm getting a good amount of protein, get some good carbs, and we'll go from there. And I'll explain what a hernia is and kind of what I'm gonna do these next videos and when I'm getting surgery, when I'm gonna get it fixed. So stay keep keep watching this sick video that you guys are gonna love because I'm gonna talk about food and what a hernia is because that's obviously what you want to hear. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Well. First, we gotta turn on our scale. Let's make sure it's on set on the right direction. Yep. Ounces, and I'm checking that because I'm lazy. Reset it back to zero. Grab that chicken breast. Chicken breast. And there, it's about 4.3. 4.4. Pretty close. That 4.4. Yeah, it is. 4.4 ounces of chicken. Now I'm gonna do this. Back in over there. I'm just gonna walk it to the microwave. If I can get it open, microwave. Open. Set for YouTube. And I wonder if I can do this without. God, it's such a perfect scoop. Can't forget the water. How do I do this? I don't have three hands. Uh, I definitely don't have three hands to do this. I have no idea how I'm gonna put water in there. Full. In case you don't have three hands, this is what you guys can do. Make sure it's aligned. If you have three hands, well, you look that well. Make sure you mix the water around. Place it back down, stop the water, and put it in the microwave. We'll be able to be cooking chicken here. Right there. I'm gonna need that chicken, I'm gonna need that oatmeal, and I'm gonna talk about my hernia. Great stuff to talk about, Alex. And we got some agua for the health because let's be honest, health is everything and protein and good carbs because carbs are not bad they're friends so uh, went and changed to a t-shirt to a snapback because my hair was not looking good and obviously you got to know i work out so i made sure i wore a shirt that I was hugging the sleeves so you guys actually think and know that I actually lift when I don't lift a lot but at least you guys can see it kind of um, so I got all my food here my oatmeal my chicken which I ate most of it already while I was waiting for my oatmeal to cook so yeah I couldn't wait I was so hungry and then if you guys don't know if you guys don't know or you guys don't know Walton Farms zero calorie no calories no sugar Basically nothing, it's like air that tastes sweet, that you can put on stuff. You won't feel guilty about eating extra calories. If you don't know what it is, find out where it is, find out where to find it, and freaking find it and use it on everything. Even on your eggs, your chicken. No, not really. don't use it on chicken. But definitely use it on your oatmeal. It tastes fantastic when you use it. Like I said, no calories in it. It's air that tastes sweet, basically. Think about it, air that tastes like syrup. So you put it around there, and voila. Oatmeal is 100% better tasting than it was before than eating that plain old oatmeal. Wow, you can't even see my face. All right, not that you really wanna see. But, all right, so I'm gonna explain what a hernia is and kind of the brief, the brief information, the brief knowledge I know about it just from researching and Looking videos up 
and from what doctors told me and stuff like that. My procedure and what I'm gonna do and then what my next couple of videos are gonna be since I was doing my deadlift series video, but now that I can't really deadlift very heavy for a while, or deadlift all really, then I might have to rethink of a, something else to keep you guys engaged, to keep everyone engaged. The only few people that watch. I really don't know if I wanna talk and eat. It might be a little distracting. So I think it's a perfect time for kind of time lapse, something that makes it really quick. Why well, tell you what I'm gonna do? Because probably you wanna know what I'm gonna do. So um, yeah, I'll probably time lapse me eating so you can see a cool video of me eating really quickly and then I can just talk about the hernia. And it's a lot more simple that way than me talking, having, mouth come out, having food come out of my mouth while I'm giving you explanation on this. So rather that time lapse it and make it 100% better. So. Get ready for the sickest time lapse of me eating food or anyone eating food that you will ever see. Done and done. And the best thing you'll ever find for oatmeal. Walden Farms. More health. Okay, so I'm completely done with eating as you all saw. As you all, not you all, saw, saw, whatever. Um, so let me explain real quick what a hernia is and kind of what it does. So basically, when you get a hernia, you can basically get a hernia almost uh, multiple places in your body. Um, most of common places are for males, I, I, if I remember right. Don't quote me on it, but I just, I'm just trying to do it off the top of my head. Um, so it's cabin in the groin area, which is a lot, a lot very common for guys, or at least. Guys who play, um, you know, are very physically active, play sports that require a lot of, you know, groin um, activation, you know, soccer, football, stuff like that, probably basketball, you know, push sports like that, you can, you can get a hernia from playing sports, you know, obviously lifting very heavy weights, very heavy objects in general, not just weights, but just objects in general. Um, moving incorrectly, doing something like that um, can actually cause a hernia. So, I mean, it's not just in the groin, but you can also get them in your abdomen up here, in your chest, um, I think the they have different little names. I can't exactly remember. I, I think mine's like Ingle, Ingle, the, the, whatever. It starts with an I and then hernia. That's the one I have. Then there's like someone started age. So you can get a hernia basically anywhere. I think of your upper body into your groin area, up here into your pelvis area basically. Um, you can get a hernia in your disc, hernia in disc. I know people hurt a lot, but that's for your back. Um, so you can get a hernia basically anywhere in this kind of area. Um, but when a hernia happens, basically what happens is, um, in my example, it's a weakness in the abdominal wall, um, the fashion of the abdominal wall that actually, uh, when created too much pressure can rip, basically rip the fascia, which can cause some internal intestines to actually spill out. Um, now with them spilling out, doesn't always mean a bad thing. Um, you can spill out, your intestines can kind of come out a little bit and still not be very serious to your health or life dangering for example um, like kind of like mine is um, but in some cases if the if the rip or the um, the fascia of the wall is very very you know it's a, it's a bigger hole than maybe expected then more of the intestines could you know come out which again I forget the word it's called like strangulation maybe maybe don't quote me on that again um, Basically, another word for the intestines out, and um, it's going to restrict blood flow to the to that part of the intestine. Um, if you start if it starts restricting blood flow, then it's going to stop working eventually, which could be bad for your health and generally for your life. I mean, that's what happens to an intestine. If it spills out too much, your intestine you know can stop working. Your digestion system is not going to work very well, which can cause not very good problems in the long run. Let's put it that way. Um, so, um, the one I have. Is basically like that it's not very serious from what the doctors have told me it's um I actually don't have any pain I don't really feel any pain it used to be uncomfortable but I think I used to be more comfortable when I when I lifted a lot more when I when I was lifting so now that I'm not lifting as heavy or not as much it's kind of not gonna weigh but it hasn't really been there to bother me so I'm trying to make sure I avoid making it worse which I don't want to do um, but yeah, you can have, and some people experience the bulge in the hernia. So and people have heard of you getting a bulge when you have a hernia. Um, that's absolutely right. You can have a bulge. I, I had no bulge in my groin, nothing ever um, there. 
Uh, you can't have bulge. That means it's a kind of pass through the um, abdominal wall, which is kind of ripping through the skin in your, or ripping through, or kind of pushing into your skin, basically. And like I said, it can happen anywhere in here. And definitely, if you do have a bump like that, do, you know, go to your doctor and just get it checked up. You know, I was not 100% sure about it, but I wanted to make, a, I wanted to be 100% sure about it because I kind of felt like I had it and I did have it. So I just wanted to make sure I did have it so I could get it fixed and know what I'm going to do next. So that's kind of a brief summary about what a hernia is. Um, you know, I'll keep explaining more and more as my videos go on. Next, you know, if you guys have any more questions, just comment down below what do you guys want to know about a hernia. The little experience that I know, the little knowledge that I have. Um, so the plan is to get surgery, get it fixed. Like I said, it's not painful for me. Like for me, it's not painful. Some people experience very serious pain, some people don't. If you experience very serious pain, I definitely do recommend you go in to get it checked out. Um, and if you feel like it is a hernia, if you have all the symptoms of a hernia, which are multiple symptoms, um, you know, just look those online and kind of just, you know, make sure, you know, or just go to the doctor and think you have a hernia and they can ask you what the symptoms are and they'll kind of diagnose you if you do or not. Um, that being said, um, so the plan is to get my hernia fixed because in the, in the field I do, which is personal training and just lifting weights in general, because I want to look jacked and huge and fill out my shirt more often, um, in all serious note, um, but no, just for my daily activities and everything I do, I need to fix. So uh, what I did is I'm going to actually go get it fixed, uh, sometime soon. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving. So probably the week after that, the 30th. And it's not a very long recovery for some people. It's longer. It depends on the pain. It depends on your pain skill, basically. My pain skill is not very much. So like I said, my recovery time, at least, um, when it comes to pain after the surgery, is probably anywhere from, you know, two to three days, depending. So, you know, what they're going to do, basically, they're going to make an incision in my groin area. They're going to go inside. They're going to push the intestines back in. So that looks, well, that looks very wrong. So just kidding. Not a good visual. But they're going to push the intestine back in. They're going to put some kind of mesh or something like that on top of the um, abdominal wall that ripped and that should keep it from spilling out again and reinforce everything again. So it's a very easy process. Like I said, if you're experiencing more pain, they did say that you'll probably have more pain longer, long for longer. You know, the top is five days, but just longer. So I'm expecting not to have a lot of pain, but never know how things will go. So get surgery and then after that, I have to have about a week of recovery where I don't really lift anything. After that, kind of, they said I kind of lift anything, just kind of feel it out so they said if it hurts or it bothers me um, I should probably not do that or stick with a lighter weight um, so I can um, kind of do that so I'll be lightly lifting for the first like two to three weeks uh, once I get to four weeks they actually said I'd go back to normal um, lifting as long as everything went okay and I tend to follow my procedures because I do not want to make this longer than it should be so um, yeah so basically I'm gonna get recovered and I'm going to show you guys step by step what I'm doing to recover. So in case anyone that follows me or anyone subscribes to me ever does get a hernia or has any type of hernia symptoms, you can kind of you can kind of follow my lead and kind of um, I'll you know show you what I did to help me recover from that hernia and you know make it not seem as bad as it is because uh, sometimes it seems very bad. It kind of puts you down. Uh, it did put me down for a couple of days, but you know I thought about it. You know I'm going to recover. I'm going to get better. I'm gonna make it out of this. I'm gonna become better than I ever have before after I get out of this hernia surgery. Um, and just another motive to keep me going, really. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of record my leading updates to the surgery, days after surgery, kind of what I'm experiencing, kind of what I'm feeling. Um, so you guys can kind of take a look at it and see, um, like I said, if any of this knowledge can help you out. Um, so do stay tuned for my next following videos where I will explain more in depth any a lot of symptoms that you will be feeling if you have a hernia. Um, that way, if you do have those symptoms, you can kind of already, you know, at least kind of, at least know that maybe you have this hernia and you can get it checked out. But, you know, thanks so much for watching this video. I know it's not fitness related. It's not about anything. It was about health, though, a little bit. I talked a little bit about um, food. I'm about to make it. I'm going to have to make like a full day of eating or full day of prepping what I do when I prep my meals. Anyways, thanks so much for watching um, this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope the information was helpful to you if you are having any of these problems um and do give the video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't uh more content coming up every week um try to do about one or two videos a week now that i'm feeling a little more motivated to do this stuff and yeah so stay tuned for my next video um about more hernias and more health and less fitness because i can't do a lot of fitness right now so yeah stay tuned thanks so much for watching
and keep coming back for the, for the entertainment that I give you. That's right.